Right. Um, the final block of uh, our workshop is focused on building a web application and also uh, give you some pointers how to build mobile application. Um, just to summarize previous sections, we we extract data from OpenStreetMap database. We uh, used some third-party data to extend this this data set, and then we generated vector tiles, which we hosted on Mapterra Cloud, and we created a map, a style which is uh, uh, which which uh, is customized to uh, have the look and feel similar to to the Phos4G colors, let's say. And uh, in this part, uh, we, we are going to build application, a web application, which will use this data. Uh, the application will, of course, show the map, uh, you, and users will be able to uh, click on bike shops, uh, rental places uh, on the icons. And the application will show attributes uh, loaded from vector tiles in a pop-up window. So it will be actually a very simple application, uh, but we will kind of start from the uh, basic application which we showed you in the first segment of this workshop or in the intro. And uh, the uh, application, the way how we will build it, will basically uh, solve a couple of issues which we have the, with the basic one, and that's the potential performance problem with uh, with uh, uh, points of interest, which we render as markers, because we will be uh, rendering them straight from vector tiles. And uh, uh, in addition, we will show some approaches how to uh, use the attributes which we edit during the processing to the data set and show them to the user in a, in a pop-up window. So now I will switch uh, to development environment, which is called StackBlitz. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Um, and uh, you can find uh, detailed instructions on GitHub. Uh, now we are going. To, now we are going to do through uh, you know a few steps. Uh, which are described on the our GitHub tutorial, and it will basically uh, turn the basic application in a little bit more advanced one using the datasets uh, and and styles which we created. So this is the starting point. Uh, you can just go to uh, the URL which I uh, which I included in the in the readme on the GitHub. And you can hit this uh, fork button here. And you will have your own copy of the source code and you can modify, modify it uh, together with me. The so first thing which I will do, I will remove this, uh, this fetch uh, part of the source code. This is nothing difficult. This, this just uh, loads your JSON from the server, which is also hosted on MapTiler, because as I said, you can host GeoJSON data there. And when the response was uh, loaded by the browser, uh, it just iterates through the array of the geometries in the futures array in GeoJSON, and it creates map, map uh, markers and adds these markers to the map. So nothing, nothing difficult, no hanging through it. I'm going to delete it, do not need it. And uh, I will, um, Marcus Aragon, I, I'm going to uh, put the URL to the, uh, the, the map, map style, which we prepared in the previous section. So we, all we do, we just replace the the map, which is going to. You can see that we we've been before we've been loading standard outdoor map. And 
And that's it. Now you can see the power of, of vector styles. Uh, with one simple change, you get a completely different map. And you can see uh, that uh, it has the style which we set it set up. And there's all the cycle ways here and points of interest. Uh, you can see the bike shops and rental stations. There are some bike shops, for example, and rental stations. Easy. Uh, next, next, next thing we are going to do, uh, we, will, we will add pop-up the application. So I will just uh, I will just put here variable to hold the current pop because we will also need to remove the old one when user when user clicks on the points of interest. And uh, let's start code function which will actually show the pop up on the map. Um, so as I said, first first line of the source code will be to remove the previous pop-up. Uh, we are using here the nullability check on the variable. And uh, then we will create very simple code. We, uh, the, we are using here <coughs> As you can see, the map library, uh, GLJS library. And uh, this library has uh, pop up control, which uh, we are going to use. Uh, this is a control which, uh, which you can use, and you can set uh, latitude, longitude, uh, and the content, the HTML content, which should be uh, set to the, when the, when the pop up goes up. And then you can add it to the map. So now, if I will go to the map and will click on any of point of interest, show the but, but it doesn't show nothing. We have a bug here. I see. We of course we need to add uh, some event handlers to the. Uh, to the to the map so that the map knows that it should, uh, react to the uh, or res respond to uh, mouse clicks. So we will uh, we will add two event handlers here. The way how it works, you basically instruct the map. Uh, are telling to the map that when the user clicks on the um, bike sharing label player, it should uh, add pop up to the map. And the argument argument you can see here basically contains all the information related to that event, uh, and it also contains uh, all the attributes uh, attributes from the feature in the vector tile. So with that. I, I've because uh, we have two layers, one with sh uh, sharing stations and one with, one, one with shops. So I added the, the handler for both. And now if I will click, yeah, I'm getting a pop up here finally. The, the content is just silly, you know, dummy, hello world string, but it works. Next step, uh, we will add a little bit more parameters. Uh, let's say we want to show uh, let's say we want to show a picture in the in the pop-up, different picture for different type of points of interest. I'm going to put it here. Uh, And uh, we also want to have different label, uh, different like heading label for the pop-up. So I will just extend this function, and I will put more parameters. 
and uh, I'm going to extend the content. So here we are actually adding some, um, uh, con uh, you know, some tags to the content of the pop-up. We are using this syntax uh, in JavaScript. It's called string interpolation, and I'm using here kind of simple templating. So uh, whatever came in label uh, parameter will be rendered here in H4 tag, and the same for image. And uh, we will we will now extend. These lines here. We will pass in the, the, the correct label. And the, and the name of the image which we show on the map. So in the pop-up or no. uh, I believe yes, but I I'm afraid I will have to do it today. There. Yeah. Now you can see <laughs> that the picture is really big and the pop-up is a. Uh, you know, it's not usable. Well, let's do a little bit uh, styling to the application. Uh, I'm just going to include our styling library, Bootstrap. Uh, Bootstrap is, is uh, you know, kind of big uh, template, uh, you know, templating or to say it, styling framework, which allows you to uh, Use many controls and and CSS uh, constructs to implement the look and feel of your application. So I will I will include uh, links to Bootstrap, style sheet and JSON and uh, JavaScript. Some of some Bootstrap components need JavaScript, so I include it. And I will use a component called Card from Bootstrap. And I will use that card for making the making the content a little bit nicer and this HTML is basically taken from bootstrap document uh, documentation side. Uh, I am telling uh, the bootstrap that I want to use or to the browser that I want to use card uh, class uh, with maximum width 14 uh, REM and uh, the content of this uh, card is, is here. I believe everything will work now. Now we get uh, now we get uh, I believe usable usable pop-up. And you can see that there is different uh, image, different label, uh, depending on which layer I uh, click in the mouse. It's controlled by these parameters here. So that's that's good. Um, last thing uh, which I would like to show here. Uh, the, you know, as, as we work with the data, we edit a uh, couple of attributes. And uh, right now in, in the, these points of interest for bike shops and uh, rental stations, there is there is a name, opening hours, and the distance from the closest cycleway. So I'm going to show you source code, which um, can read this information from the vector tile. 
And here we will start interacting interacting with the parameter which was passed to us by a play break control in parameter. So I'm going to remove uh, then because we will change it anyway. First thing, uh, if you will rec receive uh, uh, the or if map map uh, control will call this function, it will pass you um, the the feature in the e argument. There is actually more values in in this in this object like latitude, longitude, the <coughs> place where the user click. But we are going to take, we are going to read feature, first feature. And uh, we are going to read uh, attributes. Uh, attributes can be read simply indexing the properties, property. So feature dot properties dot and the name of the attributes. Uh, this just means that we will uh, we will store unknown string in this variable if if this is undefined or now. And so we will read uh, name, hours, and distance from the feature, and then we will uh, create new HTML for the pop-up. The HTML will now contain uh, this information here. And we will again pass it to the uh, to the uh, pop-up control. That's all. Now I need to finish bugs which I introduced. Just closing bracket, I believe. Should be it. So now when I click on, on the points of interest, uh, the code which we just added, the read the name, hours, distance, and show it here in the pop-up. And that's it. So as you can see with a few changes, um, thanks to the fact that we prepared uh, uh, the data in a way which works well for our application. We have uh, all the cycle ways there and we have additional points of interest with all attributes which we need. We are able to use easily the uh, MapLibre GLJS uh, to uh, read the data, uh, the information from vector tiles or from the features decoded from these tiles and, and show them on the, on the map. So this is all I wanted to uh, talk about. <clears throat> we will have another presentation about uh, MapLibre GL native uh, in, on, on Wednesday. If you are interested uh, about this topic. Uh, I believe that you are able to uh, create your application. Do, do we have any questions? So if you would stuck somewhere or have some troubles with this, feel free to ask us, contact us. We will be glad to help. And uh, that's it. With that, I would post this workshop if there are, um, there are no any questions or comments. OK. Thank you, guys, for listening.